Hello everyone. So this is our fourth video in serial communication. So in previous video we have seen how to transmit the data using mode 1. Now we are going to see how to receive a data using your mode 1. So the program which is given to us, write an assembly language program for 8051 to receive a data which is going to be given from my keyboard to my uh, URT screen till and dollar symbol is received. So till I am going to press my dollar button, I am going to get the data in my uh, URT screen. So I am giving you the specifications, it should be with mode 1 and your baud rate should be 9600. We have seen all the calculations, other things in our previous video itself, right? So the same thing we are going to use it here. So information which is given to us, all the characters from the keyboard, whichever I am going to type. So if I am going to type the dollar symbol and after that it is going to stop its uh, transmission. That is what the question which is given to me. So it should be operated in mode 1. So all these things we already seen. So we, we just go through the previous video if you are not familiar with these things. So we have already calculate my, calculated our T mod register value with 20H in our previous video itself. So why I am going to get the value of 20H here? Because I should be activated with mode 2 and timer 1. So more timer 1, it is going to have the value of 1, 0 here so that it will be activated in mode 2. So mode 2, it is going to be your auto reload mode. So we have seen already these things in terms of our timer video itself. So your SCON register, so here I am going to receive a data, right? So it is going to be uh, mode 1. So this is your mode 1. And after that, it should be receiving, right? So it should be having the value of 1. So your value of your SCON register should be 50H. So all other things are going to be same again and again. So, so this is our program. So we can able to see your uh, SCON register is going to get the value of 50H and your T mod register is going to value of 20H and your TH1 is going to get the value of FD to fix your baud rate as 9600 and your uh, set byte it can be as your TR1 or your TCON register 6th pin. So we have seen already with respect to our timer videos also, right? So after that one, I am going to receive a data from my keyboard. That is what it means, right? So I am going to receive a data here. So I am going to check my RA flag again and again for its enabling. So I am going to, after your RA flag is getting enabled, which means your receiving is completed. After the receiving is completed, I can able to move that value inside my accumulator. So after that, clear my RA so that it is ready for my next operation. So the value of A, I am pushing inside my port 1 so that I can able to view the value of my outputs. Right? So like this, I can able to view the value of my output. So I am checking whether my accumulator value, whether it is equal to the dollar uh, thing which I have given. So whenever it is going to be, whenever it is not equal to dollar symbol or dollar thing which I am going to make, so this value is repeated again and again. So the transmission, it is going to be checking whether it is completed. After it is getting completed, the SBUF value is reaching A, clear RA register or RA flag of my uh, values with respect to SCON. So after that one, the values is moving inside a port one. Like this, I can able to move the values one by one. I am typing from my keyboard to my port 1 uh, with respect to the ASCII values. I can able to see those things as ASCII values and I can able to do the outputs. So here till my dollar symbol is given, I can able to see my outputs in my port 1. After my dollar symbol is given, I can't able to see my outputs. Right? So we can able to uh, jump to our Kale programming now. So now you can able to see the program in our Kale. So on the uh, top right corner you can able to see my keyboard so both things are uh, real time you can able to see the outputs which i am going to give will be received in my port 1 so i can able to run this one uh, i can able to build i can able to enter into debug mode after getting into debug mode so what are the things i have to take so uh, get into my uh, view and uh, you can able to see your serial monitor it is already there in peripherals i can able to take my serial uh, information and after that i should be ha having my uh, informations with respect to uh, my input output ports in that i have to take my port one 
So because I have configured my port one to see my outputs, right? So with this, I can able to uh, run my program and I can able to see how far I can able to enter my values in my keyboard and it is receiving my information. So if I'm going to give the value of A, so you can able to see that the value of 61 is entering inside my port one. So how it happens using mode one, it is going to receive the informations one by one, a bit by bit, and those informations is going to be pushed inside your uh, register and as buff register and as buff register you can able to see inside my port one. So like this, I can able to see all the ASCII values. If it is going to be yes, it is going to be 73. If it is going to be Z, it can be your 7A. If it is going to be X, it can be your 78. So like this, I can able to make. So this dollar symbol is going to be above your four, right? So if I'm going to press my uh, shift button and dollar or function or so, whatever the things which is going to be correspondingly used in your keyboard, you just use it. So if I'm going to use my shift dollar symbol, so which means my shift or dollar symbol is being pressed. In that case, so the ASCII values of dollar symbol is going to be 24. The 24 is received. So it is going to be uh, jumping out of the loop. So you can able to see it is jumping out of the loop. It is not going to be do this operation again. So it will not do the operation again. So if I'm going to uh, run it again in terms of your uh, output. So if I'm whatever I values I'm going to press here, it is not going to receive anywhere because it is coming out of your program itself. So it is coming to your end of your program. If you want to run the program again, you have to come out of your debug mode. Again, you have to enter those values and you can able to see those outputs. So come out of debug mode, save it, build, rebuild and other things. You can able to get into debug mode. So you can able to see in terms of port one. So all these things are ready. So I can able to uh, run my program and after that I can able to enter my inputs. So you can able to see the inputs, all my inputs, whatever values I am giving. So how much faster I am typing. So if it is going to be more faster, so it is going to be quickly, it can able to access the information because your clock cycles are going to be very quick, right? So I can able to get the information without any delay. So even if I'm going to press in terms of two different values, you can able to see how fast it can able to acquire those values because your clock cycles are very good, uh, very good in terms of your 8051. So when I can able to stop it, if I'm going to press my dollar symbol, it is going to be ending your program. It is coming out of your uh, program. So like this, I can able to uh, transmit information. I can able to receive information. I can able to receive it from my keyboard. I can able to transmit to peripheral devices. All those things I can able to do using my serial communication with my 8051. So uh, different modes are possible. So we have already seen with mode zero, this is with mode one. Like the same, we can able to configure for mode two and three also. Okay. Thank you for your patience.